a lot of people hang like this, just hold the belt and try and finagle their feet. The best way is to hold the belt loops out like a huge pair of underwear. And then you can just step through like that. And then let go of the, of the leg loops. Here you go. Um, it's dad putting on uh, a really good adjustable, whatever they're called. Step into it. You step into it. And it's supposed to be able to fit Keisha, Dad, me, Jerry, or anybody. So, what, Keisha? Um, and, yeah. What he's talking about here. Go ahead. Okay. So, this harness, it's got leg loops, two leg loops. you got two legs. And this is your waist belt. And you want your waist belt high, okay, above your hips, above your pelvis, okay? And what you want to do is make them snug and tight, make, and this is as high and tight as you can make them, okay? Because what you're pulling on is this. When you fall, these two little rope, the rope goes through here, and it's pulling on this. Okay. <laughs> so, what we need from Dad is, you can take this, Dad. And wh what you always do is you always double check your partner. You know that. Okay. This is a locking carabiner, just like you said with the carabiner, okay. It's a little beefier. And it locks when you spin it, okay. And when it's all the way to the top, it'll say locked. And the little cross, the skull is not exposed okay this right here is you can belay people with it or repel with it so they call it a belay repel device okay and we're going to use that dad's going to use this and see on dad's harness he needs to be tight are you going to tighten yourself there he ties in directly to this and this and he's not going to lock it till the rope's in there, okay? Because rope comes through here and hangs onto this, okay? So that the, I'm tied in the, as the rope is tied into him, okay? Sorry. Because I'm the blay man. Okay, so here we go.